May 29th of 2020, and I had the windows open, and it was sunshiny, and I decided I was gonna fry an egg before I had a Zoom meeting with a client. And I fried an egg on our little gas stove, and I thought, oh, I have a few more minutes before I have this meeting. I'm gonna fold a little bit of laundry. So I folded a little bit of laundry right next to the stove where I'd fried the egg, not realizing that I had left the shoulder of a t-shirt touching the burner. It was a normal day and then it wasn't. Sat down and started my Zoom meeting and everything went good, pretty smoothly for about 20 minutes until the first smoke alarm went off. And so my first call was, of course, to 911 to call them um, and then to my husband. So came home and found what had happened. Some fire trucks, uh, some men coming in and out of our house, windows that hadn't been open in 20 years open, and uh, all the neighbors in the street. There was a lot of smoke and soot that traveled throughout the house. I originally thought that it was just confined to the kitchen area, but we'd scrub, and then two days later, it would settle. And then we'd scrub, and then it would settle again. And that's when we knew we had a real problem. Called the insurance company, tried to get a plan together with, with COVID and everything. Obviously, protocols had changed, and. We were trying to find a company that they had a relationship with. My office is very close to Michelis. They're in the neighborhood a lot. I knew enough about their reputation and their longevity and their efforts to be a good neighbor and, um, and how they serve the community in a variety of ways, even beyond construction. We uh, went ahead and gave them a call and felt good about it and moved forward. The biggest thing when I walked in was the kitchen it was really, really dark, um, the soot, and then every room in here had soot on it. So I knew right away that we we're gonna need to get the chem sponges and sponge the walls and clean it before we could really assess what was going on. The hardest part was the emotional component of it. Rearranging history, because we had 20 years in a house together, plus everything you've had before. And it was just kinda taking inventory of all of our stuff, having it go to all these different places and, and moving our stability to another location for a while. Because the cumulative effect of all the circumstances happening in the world, plus um, having to leave our home as our sanctuary. Like, it's not just home. It's, it is, it's a safe spot. It felt almost insurmountable at that time, even though it wasn't. There's a recognition, I think, on their part that the people that they are talking with have gone through traumatic experiences, and so they are very intentional about that. Um, and so, very responsive. I very much appreciated that. The other thing that I appreciate is that Michelis clearly has deep roots and pre-existing relationships. Um, they actually had worked with the, the exact same claims adjuster that we were assigned um, for our claim. So they knew one another. They had worked together before. And because of that, that helped to pave the way for these things to happen in a more efficient way. We offer an opportunity at that time for homeowners to make changes because if you're going to do it, why not do it now? They did say something about the arches. They just had squared off edges and a couple small doors and it just it just didn't function. So we got together, worked out all the details, and they actually turned out really well. It was really nice to have professionals give us a hand because we were, we were kind of used to doing things a certain way and it's nice to have someone who's like, no, you should consider this. And we actually trusted them implicitly and we were just like, yeah, let's roll with your ideas. The kitchen is beautiful, it's usable, it has a giant Lazy Susan. It has one of those things that you can pull out with the trash and the recycling. And then some of the design components too. We added some arched doorways and refinished the floors. And so it just felt like an act of care for this sweet little 100 year old home. And it just shines now in a way that it didn't before. The challenging part in every job that I have is making sure that I can get it back to light, kind and quality. That's a big thing for Michelle. And with older homes, it's really tough, especially in the butler Tarkington area where we're at now, but you have different challenges, different wall textures. It looks great. I'm happy that I don't smell any smoke. I don't see anything wrong, and she's happy, so that means I'm happy. Communication was the most impressive aspect. We always got our questions answered, and I always felt that we were attended to. I have zero regrets using Michelis to fix our house.